Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at the City of Pine Mist today and this is by Gearheart who also did the City of Riverwood with Player Home. This has a Player Home too. Unfortunately it's only available for old Skyrim. I'll show you where we are. Uh, right here there's Pine Mist. This is part of it, Jones's Mill. There's Peak Pine Cavern, Shroud Hearth Burrow and Everstead right there so you can see where you are. And this is quite an old mod, actually, but wow, you wouldn't think so. It's really well done. The idea of this is it's the new capital of the Hrothgar Hold. And like I say, you do get a new player home with it as well. Plus a whole bunch of NPCs, some of which have been voiced by the mod author, which is always fun. Um, new weapons, a new beverage. There's a new wine. Um, what else is there? Oh, there's a new spell. Haven't got it yet, though. I actually died trying to get it. <laughs> Mr. Dragonfly thinks I look fantastic at the moment. Mr. Dragonfly is very observant. <laughs> Just love what he has to say. So there's a working grain mill, some veg, and a lumber yard. There's a whole bunch of NPCs added, as you can imagine, all over the place. Hi there. Hi, Joan. Does this all belong to you, dude? Actually, the uh, Jarl of this place is a child. As you will see. I like the addition of these bridges. It's a beautiful day today, so how nice just to go for a wander and discover a new place. I'm all about that. I really enjoy having new places to explore. Look at the bunting. Oh, and there's a little Khajiit dude here. Hi. Oh, he's very handsome. This one needs something. Take a look. Oh, what gorgeous eyes he has. Okay, so he's got quite a bit of gold. And a whole bunch of stuff for sale of every description. Handy. That is so handy. May your road lead you to warm sands. Oh, such lovely manners. Okay, so that's handy. Nice little Khajiit outside the town. And we are getting there. The smelter's been plopped down here right next to the abandoned mine. And trust me, you don't want to go in there because I did and also nearly died in there as well. It's, um, you get overcome by the fumes. There's a lot of history written into this mod. Um, as you go around the various buildings, you'll come across notes and books that give you all sorts of information about the place and its history, which is very cool indeed. Also, there are so many new shops. Look at this one, Dark Water Foods. So if you've seen my video on his City of Riverwood, then this will be kind of um, familiar to you. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Need something? Okay, Some what's she call got? This junk? Me? I call them treasures. Obviously, the mod author didn't <laughs> voice her. Okay, so she's got a whole bunch of things to sell. Oh, all kinds of food and drink. Not a lot of gold to buy your stuff, but... I won't go into every single one, but look at this. Isn't this nicely done? And how handy to have new shops. This is the castle. Oh, wow, look at the flag. Nice, we'll go in there in a bit. Next door to this one, you've got silken rags. Got something for just about everybody Ooh. in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Okay. Yes. Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. She sounds like that posh woman in um, Solitude, doesn't she, whose name temporarily escapes me. Okay, so, wow. Oh, even a lockpick. <laughs> And all sorts of bits and bobs. Very cool. And Until I love this time. little shop, don't you? This is so nice. Good job. Speak quickly. So rude. Okay. Carry on with our exploration. Hmm? Yes? Hi. Okay, big old sewer grate. You can see this is really beautifully put together, don't you think? 
Okay, so that's the uh, miner's house, which has been all locked up. We'll come back to that one in a second. Let's have a look at the adventurer's workshop. Got something for just about everyone in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. <laughs> yes? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Okay, also she's got a bit of gold and plenty of things to buy. This I'll is my lead, really handy, don't yes. you think? For You know, if you're starting a new game and just going out and exploring the world. Ouch. Shut up, kid. Seriously. Such a drama queen. Okay, so this place. My cousin's out fighting I dragons. Am in your what way, do I get? But I am sorry. God, do you teach <laughs> So you can't get into that place through that way, but you can if you just hop over the fence. And head around the back. There's some conveniently placed barrel and chests here to get you into this place. And once inside, wow, you might be glad of a travel lantern. Oh, I need to clear out my bags. They are a nightmare. I know I always say this, but it's true. There we go. Okay. So, poor old miner. Long dead. He's got a note on him. Interesting. I won't reveal where I came from or who I am. Without knowing what I became, my family can still think that I'm alive and happy somewhere. I can tell that I worked at the mine for that terrible poisonous ore, though. Too sick to be treated, I ask to be left alone in here, keeping an eye on what's been dug up so far. If you read this, this place is probably safe now. Probably. <laughs> and my corpse may be disposed in a more traditional way without any risk. Please ensure that it happens. Thank you. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if there's provision to be able to do that or not. You know, to bury the guy. There is a graveyard here. So, this is what he's been digging up. This, These are the ingots and the ore and uh, yeah that's what they found in the mine and that's all poisonous so cool <laughs> there is a weapon made out of that as well that you can pick up okay so that's one of the secrets of this place there's also a cult here um, oh look at those beautiful apple trees and the apiary and in fact this is your front garden here this is the player home it's called aspent house so if you speak to the steward at the castle he'll tell you it's free and this is what the inside of the home looks like i'll just turn the uh, travel lantern off we don't really need it in here just in the mine and um in that miner's cottage really the rest of it's fine as you can see so, how pretty is this? I love the little baskets of flowers on the table. The artwork also, very nice. So, there's a butter churn. Room to store your food, dishes. So, name storage. Safe barrel, cooking pot, and an oven. Cool. Look at that picture, that is so nice. Wow, the shadows though. Let's let Inigo off the leash off the leash. Mm -hmm. Of course. What do you want to know? Thank you. Your hospitality is humbling. It has been fully nav mesh, so I'm sure he'll just enjoy himself. Just realised I forgot to look over in this corner. So what have we got here? Key storage. Another safe barrel. Oh, we've got a downstairs. I think I completely missed that when I popped in here earlier. A nice structure, isn't it? And it feels cosy. Staircase going upstairs. Wow, you can see through the floorboards. <laughs> and then a bar area. Whoa, look at that picture. That is stunning. I love that. He's done that in the castle as well and, you know, made feature walls out of the art. And I really like that whole idea. 
Okay, so there's a back door there by your bar, which looks to be quite well stocked. Have a quick look upstairs. Big lofty room. Okay, so it is a big old loft. I love this in the middle. This is so cute. Imagine being a kid and having like a doll's house like that in the middle of your bedroom floor. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five kids. Loads of room for them. God, this didn't look this big outside, did it? I don't know. I'll need to go around the outside in a minute and check on that. Beautiful. And then a little library corner. Goes back outside. Where do we sleep then? And is there a follower's room? Because, you know, that's what I always look for. Because generally I don't adopt and it's just me and Inigo. But this is a cute little kid's room. And it's, I mean, really, it's a whole loft for them, isn't it? That is very nice. Okay, check out the basement. It's an unconventional floor plan. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another thing. There was um, a visiting artist to this home. So, hence the... Um, emphasis on the art in this place okay cool we've got a bathroom well it's a shower and a loo oh nice and the shower is awesome that is so well done i love that it's open a washcloth and a what do you call it towel <laughs> a few mushrooms growing in the corner oh, i like it okay and here's our room then All right, then. Any notes for us? No. I'm looking because um, there is art in Hrothgar. Oh, here we go. How oh, nice. A little book. Uh, yeah, I'm looking because there are notes and books, obviously, all over the place. So you can pause the video to read this if you'd like to. It all started when a mysterious traveller offered his decorating services to the Jarl of Pine Mist, the Hold's capital. It was the beloved... Davild Gerhardson, <laughs> also known as Gerhardt back then. He decided it was time to end the era of the plain walls in the castle. Cool. Most of the paintings are now displayed in the castle, the inn, or in this home. Few paintings face the said bad luck, though, disappearing in fire, theft, or loss. A special lot of paintings depicting an entirely undressed young lady almost caused a scandal. <laughs> oh, that's charming. Uh, okay, right. The mystery about the pa painter's identity remains to this day, just like who was that young lady shown in his masterpieces? Hmm? Sweet. So yeah, this is fun. I love this sort of thing, don't you? It's, it's like a little mystery. Um, solving it as you go around and you read these things and you pick up the notes. All right, so we have enchanting and alchemy also. And by the way, there is a smithy outside. I'll, I will go around the outside in a minute. But mannequins, more bookcases. I want a book about the home, or the town rather, written by Calselmo. <laughs> he spent a week researching here. And again, you can pause the video to read it if you'd like to. It's so nice that you get this backstory, don't you think? I love all that. It also gives you clues about, you know, where to look for certain things that you might find interesting. Like the weapon and the uh, new material. Okay, I think that's it for this place then, by the look. Oh, look, there's one. <laughs> Who is that young woman? We may never know. 
Okay, Inigo, I'll leave you in here then while you chill out and we'll head outside. Obviously, my main focus with all these things is the player home. But how nice to have a whole brand new surrounding. Look at that down there, the view of the lumber mill. So here's our smithing deck. And we have a forge. And we'll just store your gemstones. Melter of our own. So you don't have to use the one on the edge of town. Workbench and grindstone. And then a little dip pool, really. You can sit down and have a drink and just look out at the view. Oh, wow. Oh, the sun's going down. How long have I been doing this? <laughs> this is this video really long already? Do I need to hurry it up? Okay, so we've got an apiary also. There is the um, blacksmith here. Thought that might be another note. But how nice that we have our own. Oh, and a deck up there as well. We'll pop up and see that in a second. And also, I just love this structure. How nice is that? It feels, you know, like this is a coach house entrance here. It feels very um, old-fashioned British to me. I love that. And look how it's held up with these columns. And we have a cow around the back. <laughs> and chickens. Pop in the back door. Okay. And we'll nip upstairs and have a look at that deck. Should have done that before, shouldn't I? Okay, what have we got? Oh, nice. Oh, a really lovely area to sit, get warm. You and all your children can use this deck. Plenty of seating. Plenty of firewood to go on the fire. And some more storage too. And a nice view. Okay, it is getting so dark. <laughs> Eek, we'll have a look in the castle in a sec. Don't you love this layout? I miss anything down here. Oh, the magical, magical, magic alchemist shop. <laughs> Sorry, I just butchered that, didn't I? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Oh, I love your lighting in here, dude. It's gorgeous. And my potion bottles look like this because I've got uh, a mod called Awesome Potions installed. It makes them so pretty. Okay, so there's alchemy and enchanting in here too. Father, stop complaining about me wasting my talent and shaming the house. Oh, House Telvani. <laughs> The little store in that cul-de-sac Nord town, as you like to call it, is actually just a facade. Here I am near the last remnants of the Solar Cult, masters of the long-forgotten light magic. I promise you'll be proud of me. Well, that's interesting, because the other day we were looking at shadow magic, weren't we, in um, Nightwield Aspire? Need something? Yes, yes. Don't hassle me, man. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Oh, okay, so he's got ingredients and potions, all the usual things, as well as staffs, or staves, soul gems, etc. Oh, this town's got everything, hasn't it? Oh, look at all the spells I don't know. That's embarrassing. Okay, let's move on. Safe travels. <laughs> Thanks, even if you are a bit creepy. I can hardly see your face in that hood. Okay. Mm. So what have we got left to look at? The castle and the area by the waterfall. Alright, let's make it daylight and we'll move on. Okay, let's see if I can find my way there, because uh, like I say, I've only been here once so far and I'm not sure if I can remember the way to that waterfall. I think it was down here, this one. There's a secret entrance. There we go. Solvaldhun. Oh my god, it's 
pitch black. Okay. And I can't, I don't even know how long this tunnel is. It's the longest tunnel I've ever been in in Skyrim in my life. It's enormous. Not that there was much point in putting the light on because it's all exactly the same. Seriously, how far does this even go? It's bonkers, isn't it? Ooh, the spooky sounds. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so they've harnessed the magic of the sun. Now, I actually died when I tried to go and grab that spell down there. See all this gas that's coming up? Uh... Okay, well, let's just run. Run for it. Got my health going down, man. Oh. <laughs> Will he make it? <laughs> Khajiits don't cough like Khajiits. Do you know what I mean when I say that? They kind of cough like a Nord. It bothers me every time. That and um, when he gets out of the water and he's gasping. I don't know why, it just bothers me. It's always bothered me. Okay, let's have a quick look at that spell and see what it does. So, what was it called? Solar Ray. A strong ray made from light, fire and electricity. Okay. Cool. We'll have to play with that outside. Okay, let's have a look at this spell then. Solar Ray. I've equipped it in my left hand. <laughs> oh, love. That is awesome. Okay, fine. Very cool. I like it a lot. All right, this castle. This is where you'll find a bunch of other secrets, particularly relating to the ore and a weapon. Um, let me just have a quick look at the graveyard first, though, because I've got a feeling that there may be something about the, um... With his voice, shouted him apart. <laughs> about the, uh, graves. Oh, by the way, this is the winery. Whole bunch of jazz bay here, so if you're on that quest to go and pick 20, then, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, so she's not speaking to us. Have a quick look inside. Proudly produced by... Oh, proudly produced in pine mist. Oh, that is so cool. There is a new wine. Oh, okay. Let's not do that then. It is quite early in the morning, actually. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll need to come back to that. Okay, let's have a quick look in the inn. Just whilst we're wandering. Isn't this gorgeous? I feel I've probably said that 20 times already, but it's so nice to have new things. Especially when, you know, I wish that this was for SSE, actually, because I'm done with that now. And, um, oh, you can get the wine in here. Cool. Yeah. Take a look. That is my favourite voice actor in Skyrim, this dude. Okay, so, Jasmist Wine. Restores 20 points of stamina, regenerates 30% slower for 45 seconds... Resist 15% of frost damage and magicka increased by 10 points for 20 seconds. So that's all right. Also a very nice bottle. Good job. Mm -hmm. Can I have a quick look around your establishment? Oh. <laughs> our dear, our hero claims a warrior's heart. Oh, please don't. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice wielding As you can tell... <laughs> Power! Oh God. As you can tell, I don't have relaxed bards installed um, in Skyrim. I should have thought about that, shouldn't I? But they're nice enough rooms. It's a ni nice enough inn. Oh, God. Right then. Okay, and here's the road out of the other side of town. Cool. Let's go and find that graveyard that I promised about five minutes ago and then we'll nip into the castle and call it a day because I feel like this video has probably gone on far too long. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can read the 
uh, tombstones. Oh, that one's got a little doll. Oh my god, that's awful. All right then. So neat, neat little graveyard with smashing views. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that's gorgeous. All right, there are several entrances, by the way, into um, the castle, but we'll just head into the Hall of the Past first, since it's all, like, connected. I haven't actually been in here, so I don't know if there's any more notes to discover. Plenty of draugas. I don't know what it is about catacombs. I find them fascinating. <laughs> Um, you know, not sure that I would necessarily want to go climbing around one in real life, but I don't know, I actually might. Oh, look at that. I like that they're all named and they've all got like little bits of decoration. That's very cool. Need something? Oh, Hera. All right. Oh. Okay. Good morning. Now then, I, if I recall rightly, you can pickpocket from some of the people in the castle that will give you keys. Uh, which I haven't done. I am absolutely abysmal at pickpocketing. I get caught literally every single time. I'm so bad at it. But, um... Yeah, you might want to explore that yourself. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is about pickpocketing. I get seriously anxious about it. <laughs> and I'm not good at it. And I'm like that with TV programs. You know, when you're watching a TV program and somebody's going into, I don't know, someone's office or something to look for evidence. Uh, and you just know they're going to get caught. It's terrifying. I hate it. <laughs> but this is a neat castle. You've got a really nice kitchen with a chef. Um, and plenty of backstory to be found in here too. So there's our young Jarl. And the steward. Steward Hedhelm. So you can ask him, um, you know, if you want to settle here. Of course, of course. A split house is free. When you see how much it costs and for a whole to keep it warm, you understand why it's free. <laughs> so that's the mod author, bless his heart. He sounds about 100 years old. Mind you, it fits very well with the look of the steward. Yes? Uh, I see you have that young girl next to you. Is she your girlfriend? Yes, and don't get too flirty with her or you'll meet my general. <laughs> that told me. Need something? Too funny. I love it. <laughs> it's very cute. Right, okay, you watch me get lost in here because I'm abysmal at finding my way around places, as you all know by now if you've seen any of my videos before. So we have a strategy room. Handy. Do you see what I mean about the artwork? Actually, have I got my travel lantern back on again, didn't I? Turn it back off because it, it tends to give a bit of glare, you know? And you don't get a true picture of the um, the actual mod lighting, which is very nice in here. So, military funds requires key. And I imagine that you know, one could pickpocket a key for that. Also another little note here. I want your opinion on a personal matter. Now this is interesting. This is about a dream he has about a uh, child being surrounded by two monsters. So I don't know the backstory to that. Look at these artworks though. These paintings, these screenshot type of things are very nice indeed. I like them a lot. And this warm red wood also, it's gorgeous. It makes me wonder why more mod authors don't use, you know, this um, painted wood device. Because can you imagine if this was all stone, it would just be really bland and bleh in here, you know? Whereas this is really nice. And there are plenty of rooms, plenty of art. That artist that came to visit the town got seriously busy, didn't he? And I'm assuming that these are all the rooms that belong to the people. Pine Miss Everyday Funds. Huh? So this is the steward's room. 
Uh, it's impossible. The monstrosities must be removed from the walls. It's not suitable for a child to see such things, yarl or not. I count on you to hide the said paintings as far as possible from any sight. So, <laughs> that is cool. I don't know if you're going to find a secret stash of them, by the way. Um, of, um, you know, dirty paintings. <laughs> like Skyrim porn or something. Mm, okay, right, well I don't have the key, so... Don't tell anybody. Ah, okay, so I think that might be the sword made from the special materials. Emergency funds. Just shut the door and... Um... Oh god, no, don't do that. I'll be there all day. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Let's see what he looks like. The only item ever created. Okay, so damage 59. And there is um, uh, ingots and ore, isn't there, in that old house? So maybe we could do it up. Oh, look. <laughs> Naked pictures. Too funny. So there is a stash, but you can't pick them up. All right, then. Now we know. <laughs> okay, so this place is very cool. You can go upstairs as well. There are more rooms. And Good morning. Um, morning. A balconies. You can look over the town. Big old library here. I think these are both out of Skyrim. Oh, that takes us back. Oh, actually, that takes us out onto a little balcony overlooking the entrance hall. So, yeah, this takes us to this balcony. Very nice. All right, well, that doesn't cover absolutely everything. I mean, there is a barracks here. In fact, let's just see if I can uh, not kill myself and nip down and have a look at the um, barracks, if I can find it. That was the pub. I'll be right back. As ever with these things, it was right behind me. <laughs> now there's also um, a lumberjack in town, and he has a little home just down the way too. But there are quite a few guards around here. Disrespect me. Yes. What is it? Dragons? <laughs> that always makes me laugh. A dragon to attack kinds grown. Why? Why there? Or that mage from the court. Is nobody right? safe? Good things are finally calmed down. Over well, they're full of chat, aren't they? And their quarters are quite nice. And the jail cells aren't terrible. They've got decent beds in there. Jailer's journal. Our new prisoner creeps me out. The guy was caught eating a corpse. Oh my god. I doubt that approaching his cell when alone would be a good idea. We had a hard time putting him in there. Ew. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is also talking about the paintings. Right, okay, so there's a whole bunch more of interest to be found in that book. This is so cool. I would love to know what you think about this place. And if you still play old Skyrim uh, and haven't switched over to SSE, whether this is something is that it? you would install? I certainly would. I'm going to be keeping it for sure. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this pretty view of the town with the mountains in the background. Do let me know what you think about this place and I will see you very soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody.